We've had high water before, but this year was the highest. This storm in January caused evacuations in what's known as the Quinault Tribe's Lower Village. With sea level rise gradually uh, by the end of the century, you know, it may be flooding all the time. Rising tsunami concerns and more recently what climate change could bring have the tribe looking for higher ground. This is what they want to move up onto the hill. The Quinault Indian Nation wants to relocate homes to a higher village, but needs help paying for it. I just want to take this time to, to, to talk about this historic day. And funding could be coming from Washington, D.C. As the first Native American cabinet secretary, I, I feel very confident in saying that President Biden believes wholeheartedly in representation. Interior Secretary Deb Holland is a member of the Pueblo of Laguna Tribe, and she told tribal members President Biden's infrastructure package could provide hundreds of millions for tribes in Washington to relocate to safer ground. It says something that we're here today. The Quinault Reservation is in Congressman Derek Kilmer's district. He's pushing legislation to free up grant funding for coastal tribes. One way, he says, Congress can make up for some of their shortfalls when it comes to Indian affairs. It's clear that the federal government hasn't lived up to its trust in treaty obligations for decades. But Secretary Holland says her trip to the coast is a sign things are changing. You don't really understand how important a place is to a community of people until you're actually there with them. Unlike a lot of things in Washington, D.C. right now, Congressman Kilmer says this issue has bipartisan support so he's hopeful Congress can get these tribes the help they need. On the Washington Coast, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.